Ezekiel chapter 48 verse 20. Now we've been looking at the millennium land of Israel. We've been looking at the divisions. And it go and the, the tribes are going north to south. And we're in the middle where, where the place of the temple will be. We saw that there is a, a, a place for the suburbs of the priest. Now we move on to all the oblation shall be twenty shall be five and twenty thousand by five and twenty thousand. That's a square. He shall offer the holy oblation four square with the possession of the city. And you can get the rest of the information that we've done in the previous video. And the residue shall be for the prince on the one side and on the other side. And on the and of the possession of the city over against the five and twenty thousand of the oblation toward the east border and westward over against five and twenty thousand toward the west border over against the portions for the prince and it shall be holy oblation and the sanctuary of the house shall be in the midst thereof. Moreover, from the possession of the Levites, the temple area, and from the possession of the city, shall be the midst of that which is the prince, between the border of Judah, which is just north of what we've been reading last time, and the border of Benjamin, which we're going to pick up today, shall be for the prince. So between Judah and Benjamin is the temple, is the portion for the prince, is the city of the Levite, is the holy area given to God through the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the capital of the land of Israel. It is a church state which Americans and Baptists hate. Well, I'm sorry, we're going to go to a church state. We're not going to have a president. We're going to have the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We're not going to have a Babylonian president. Verse 23, As for the rest of the tribes, from east side to the west side, Benjamin shall have a portion. And the border of Benjamin from the east side to the west side, Simeon shall have a portion. And from the border of Simeon, from the east side to the west side, Issachar a portion. And they're, they're below each other. And from the border of Issachar from the east side to the west side, and that would be lower than Issachar, Zebulun. And by the border of Zebulun from the east side and to the west side, Gad. A portion. I believe Gad is one of them tribes that settled on the wrong side of the Jordan River. Not this time. And the border of Gad at the south side, south, southward. You know, this may have been the border rights of Joshua's time had not the two and a half tribes quit and didn't want to cross over to get the land. I don't know. We'll never know. You know, all the things that God has intended for us and how we settle for what is less than what God's given us. And from the border of Gad at the south side southward, the border shall be even from Tamar unto the waters of strife of Kadesh. And that's where they went in to spy the land out, Kadesh Barnea. To the river, and I said, if you look at some maps, there's a river down south of Israel, and it's called the River of Egypt, and it goes into the Mediterranean Sea. It is not the Nile. That's in Africa. This river is in Israel, or below Israel, toward the Great Sea, that would be the Mediterranean Sea. This is the land which he shall divide by lot. Now, so see, now here's the land. Here's the divisions of the tribes 
in that land, you're going to do what Joshua did, but it's not going to be Joshua, Acts chapter 7, and, and I forget where it is in Hebrews, it's going to be Jesus. And even you'll find in some King James Bible, the error is they, they, they put the name Joshua back in. Uh, not the second time. Now, Joshua may be there, but he ain't going to place the land by lot. Jesus will. For inheritance. Jesus is going to cross the same spot where Joshua crossed. Where John the Baptist stood and he said, Of these rocks, God will raise up the... I wonder what those rocks were. The ones that Joshua left. Tribes of Israel for inheritance. And these are the portions. Say the Lord God. These are the goings out. Heading out. Of the city. On the north side. 4,500 measures. And the gates of the city shall be after the names of the tribes of Israel. Three gates northward, one gate Reuben, one gate Judah, one gate Levi. Now, Judah was the fourth. I think Levi was the second or third. I think it's Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah. So this is not by birth. And the east side, 4,503 gates, and the gate of Joseph and the gate of Benjamin. There's Rachel. That, that's a birth order. And one gate of Dan. That was Rachel's handmaid. And at the south side, 4,500 measures. And three gates, one gate for Simeon, one gate for Issachar, one gate for Zebulun. And the west side, 4,500, with their three gates, one gate of Gad, one gate of Asher and a one gate of Naphtali. It was round about 18,000 measures. The name of the city, all right, now, oh, this is Israel today. The name of the city from that day shall be the Lord is there. Is that the name of the city today? No, the city's name is the city of peace, Jerusalem. City of peace, salam, peace. God or the Lord is there. Emmanuel. God is with us. Now let's look at opposing city. This is God's city of the Jews, Israel, on the earth in the millennium. Now Revelation. Revelation, I forget if it's 21 or 22. Let me skim through here real quick. All right. Revelation 21. In verse 10. And he carried me away in the spirit. Where'd you read that expression many times? Is that not Ezekiel? Remember one time Ezekiel got pulled by the spirit by his hair? To the great and high mountain. And show me that great city, holy Jerusalem. Now that's not what we just read the name. The Lord will be there. God will be there. This is holy Jerusalem, city of peace. Coming out of heaven from God. That's not Ezekiel. Having the glory of God and her light was like the light unto a stone most precious. Even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. The wall was great and high and had twelve gates. And at the gates twelve angels, not Peter. And the names written up, which are the names of the twelve tribes of children of Israel. Okay, that matches. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. That wasn't in Ezekiel. And he, 
And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city and the gates thereof and the walls thereof. And the city lies four square, it's a square, the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with a reed, 12,000 furlongs. The length and breadth of the city is equal. Now we go back over to Ezekiel real quick. And where is that measurement? Verse 30, 4,500 measures. So it's two different cities. And he measured, Revelation 21, 17, and he measured a wall 140 and four cubits. 144. 144,000? I hope you know what 144,000 are. There it is in the city. And according to the measure of a man, okay, of a man, that is of an angel. <laughs> and the building of the wall was as Jasper, and the city was pure gold. What's pure gold? Like clear glass. All the impurities have been removed. And the foundation of the wall of the city was garnish. Gar you know what garnish is? Well, you go to a fancy restaurant and there's your piece of meat, there's your potatoes, there's your, your vegetable, and you got these little things you don't eat. And it's just thrown on the plate for prettiness, for, oh, isn't that sweet? God says that the city, Jeru New Jerusalem, I just threw some I just vegetable. I just threw some gems in there just to make it a garnish. Man, God's garnishing. Because <laughs> and so, if you look at these these uh, stones from verse nineteen all the way down to twenty one, there's many of them. I saw no temple therein. That's not Ezekiel because Ezekiel has the temple. For the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. So what are you going to do with your Baptist temple? What are you going to do with your Mormon temple, tabernacle, whatever you want to call it? Garbage. The city had no need of sun, neither of the moon. And to shine in it, for the glory of God did light in it. And the Lamb is the light thereof. So we will be sunburned by the Son of God for eternity, not Baal. The Sun God of Sunday. Find me in the Bible where Sunday is the first day of the week. It's never there. The first day of the week, when they met, was called the first day of the week. And the nations, uh-oh, there's the nations. There will be nations in eternal life. Of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. And the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor it. Look, there are kings in the eternal life, not presidents, of nations. And I believe that they get the new heavens. The Jew gets the earth, the new earth. And the Christian gets new Jerusalem. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day. Did we read in Ezekiel one gate will be open on the Sabbath for the prince? And then closed at night and closed during the work days? For there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and honor of nations into it. And there shall be no wise enter into it that defile it. Neither whatsoever worketh an abomination or maketh a lie. There's your politicians. There's your used car salesmen. There's your deceivers and your swindlers. They won't be there. But they which are written 
in the Lamb's Book of Life, which were judged previously. And look at verse chapter 22, verse 1. Ready? And he showed me a pure river of the water of life. Didn't we see that in Ezekiel? There is the earthly city of Ezekiel in the millennium. There is the heavenly city in Revelation 21, 22. Clear as crystal. Proceeding out of the throne of God in the land, the river that came out of Ezekiel came from the house. Remember, I made the you know, if your house is there's water coming out of you can't say that's heaven right now because heaven, the water that's before the throne of God right now, is as crystal, it's ice in the midst of the street of it on either side of the river. There, there's a tree of life, the tree of life. One tree. Ezekiel said there were many trees. Which bear twelve manner of fruits. Like the tree in Ezekiel. And yield her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Not Christians. Sorry grandpa. You were wrong. And the moron that taught you. The pastor of the church of the open door was wrong. It says healing of the nations, not Christian. We're already healed. I don't know how those nations are born in the eternal life, but they're not. There is matter for healing. Explain it. I can't. And there shall be no more curse. What was cursed? The earth was cursed. Adam's time. Genesis 3. What would be cursed that's not cursed? The new earth. But the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it. And his servants, not slaves, shall serve him willingly, wantily, happily. Like the servants of Solomon by the Queen of Sheba's testimony. And they shall see his face. And his name shall be in their foreheads. I don't know if that reference runs to verse 2, the nations. Someone has the mark of Jehovah in their foreheads. Like the 144,000 in the tribulation period. I don't have the name of Jehovah in my forehead. I'm under the blood. I am the bride. I am the bride of Jesus Christ. And there shall be no night there. That's not Ezekiel. And no need of a candle. No neither light of the sun for the Lord God giveth them light and they shall reign forever and ever that's got to be the Gentiles you have a monarchy in the eternal life as a church state system under God and the land and if you hate the church and state system you hate the Bible form of government because that's what was supposed to be Israel's government. God as the supreme ruler, the Levites, the representations of God who were doing the service of the temple and doing judgment. You better not hate her. Uh, you better not hate church state. That's Bible. Now, I ain't talking about the Catholic Church Day. I ain't talking about the Congregational Church Day. I ain't talking about the Mormon Church Day. I'm talking about God Church Day. There's a big difference. And he said to me, these, thing, these sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the Holy Prophet sent his angel to show unto his servants, through John, the things which must shortly be done. Man, this is a long, short time. The Apostle John died, I think it was 
80 AD, I think it was. I may be wrong about that. Oh, I just love the Book of Revelation. There will be kings and monarchy in the in the after eternal life. Huh? Oh, I want to know about the things that, you know, all the cool stuff is going to happen on the earth during the tribulation period. Why? We're not going to be here. We're going to be at the judgment seat of Christ. And there are some people, I read this for, for a reason. There are some people who say that our heavenly New Jerusalem is the same city of Ezekiel. And it's not. And there was a place they said there was a name for that city. Let me see. And we're not good. Hey, you modern Bible people, you should read verse 18 and 19. Now look at verse 17. Now this is not the Christian. And the Spirit, Holy Spirit, the bride, the bride, that's me. I mean, that's Jesus. Excuse me. No, that is me. Jesus is the bridegroom. The church is the bride. Look what the church says. Come. Today the church is to say, Go in all the world and preach the gospel. What's the church saying? Come and let him that hear it say, Come and let him that thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. That's not the Christian. So there are people in the eternal life that will need the tree of life, fruits and leaves, and the water of life. That's not me. I am saved by the blood. I thought there was a there is a place somewhere where it actually gave this city a name, and it's not the same name. We read. Verse 21. There's a water of life in 21.6. Well, I can't find it. That's okay. 